Um, I wanted to um, go ahead. Um, my screenshot ended. It ended. I really didn't get get through a lot of stuff right here briefly. I kind of uh, went through some things here, but I briefly wanted to um, let you guys know some updates. Again, I can't do this without you. I really do need you guys' encouragement and support. That's that, that did it two times already. Okay, so I really do need your guys' encouragement and support. I can't do this without you. Please donate to me. Cash, cash, donate to our charity as well as all the people that have been impacted by the COVID pandemic, especially with our, the charity that I do, the functions that I do within my own um, duty of call, my own duty of character, to cash up Venmo, PayPal, to Battle for Savings Partner Services, Inc., as well as email me, email me anytime, B-A-T-T-L-E, the number one, and C-A-I-D at iCloud.com. You can also reach me at some of the other things. I'm going to share right quickly because I was talking all that, but I did not go live. So I'm going to briefly show to you um, some other stuff that I went through. Um, briefly here, I'm screenshot screenshot this here. Um, if I can, let me see if I can do this. Okay, okay, let me see. Okay, so I can't. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to screen share, but I can't. Okay. Okay, so let me see. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, um, okay, so, okay, so I, I can't speak anymore, but it's okay, it's fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to, um, okay, so here, okay, let me make this bigger, make the screen bigger, okay. Okay, whatever. Okay, right, there we go. All right, so I have my phone here. This is my iPhone, my business iPhone here. I can't do this. Are you guys encouragement support? So what you want to do is you want to go here to to this to this uh, briefly. Um, your any kind of Android iPhone that you guys may have, and type in here to Battle for Savings Partner Services here. We got all the, all the information here is on my Facebook profile page right here. Okay, my Facebook profile feed, and go there. You can view right now. I'm live here, as well as everybody. All the things that have been impacted during this last pandemic here okay so you would go here okay and then you would type here to menu on Facebook and then you would go to all the current events here right here on Facebook okay and then um, you would go right here to on your iPhone on your phone too as well okay and then you would type in events scroll down to where it says events okay Okay, and then you will go to all the current uh, post update events uh, that I currently have I have listed available. Okay, so tomorrow there's an event it's called the American Nursing Association COVID in Color and how it has impacted the impact of the COVID pandemic on the Latino community. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Massport is having a committee meeting, Boston Logan Airport. Thursday, uh, the MBTA in Boston is having a public meeting on the Commission for the Blind. Uh, Wednesday, next Wednesday is a public meeting with Newton with the MBTA. Continue on, it goes all the current events I'm having posted. Anytime I have an event, you will go here to, to Facebook, all the future events that I have here, guys. Okay, go to here the upcoming events here posted on my events too, as well. You go to the events tab here on Facebook, to the events tab right there. Okay. And you will figure out all the, all the events that I have here posted. Okay, you go to your Android phone or your Apple iPhone device or any kind of smartphone compatible device, and you can actually pull up Battle First Aid Responder Services. Okay, okay, you can actually pull up. There we go. You can actually pull up Battle First Aid Responder Services on any smartphone compatible device. Okay, for. Uh, for your Android, Apple, or any kind of uh, Samsung Galaxy, any kind of smartphone compatible device, and you can actually pull me up here on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I'm also big. I'm big, huge on Instagram. So what I want to do is I'm going to go here to my Instagram feed on uh, any kind of smartphone. I'm also here on Instagram, Battle First Aid Responder Services. 
my Instagram is popping. I only have about 215 followers on my Instagram. And I also made a public statement about the low impact of my social media. I have low social media followers, but I also have a very high impact on getting a very high action oriented impact on getting things done. Okay, so um, so pretty much I'm very big on um, so social media, very big. Okay, they've been telling me to go home. It's really insulting. It's really insulting. So I'm very big on uh, uh, social media, but very big on, on Instagram. So here's some things that I posted on Instagram too as well. Okay, and then right here, um, here is my Instagram reels. R E E L S. I'm very big. Have a lot of feedback here. The latest video I did was on um, the impact of COVID. The mandatory vaccine impacts are here. Okay, mandatory uh, COVID te teachers um, vaccine mandates. I did it on. Um, I did this on uh, talking about how uh, COVID has impacted the community. This is an NBC nightly news broadcast uh, yesterday talking about um, the mandatory uh, vaccine impacts in the state of Missouri. So this was last night on October the 3rd broadcast, okay? I keep going on my Instagram reels, you can follow me there. Senator Ayanna Presley, I have her on my Instagram reels, so I'm learning how iPhone works too, so that's really good. She's also a very big supporter of women's rights too, which is also part of first aid. You also have to cater to women what they need to as well. So thank you to Senator, Senator, um, my, my screen is glare. Uh, Senator Al Alana Presley, Al Al Ayana Presley and her, and her team. So I always try to make public statements too about things that I've done in the community here as well. Um, uh, Super Tuesdays for the month of September. I always make statements. Some photos I took this, year, this weekend, I went to the Women's March here in Syracuse. I was actually trying to go to the one in Buffalo or in DC. But they had gave me an opportunity to speak, which is really good. So I talked to some of the people, about 100, 200 people attended, talking about how the Abortion Rights Act was actually going to impact women and employment in the medical field. So that was really good, okay? Some people I met at the Women's Right March, the COVID briefings, the, COVID, the White House COVID-19 Task Force team have these daily, if not weekly, um, press briefings um, by Dr. Of course, also, Dr. Tony Fauci, as well as Dr. Rochelle, uh, Rochelle Walensky, she's, she's head of the CDC, Dr. Tony Fauci, and you have the U.S. Surgeon General, Dr. Vladimir um, um, Navy, uh, Navy Court and uh, Navy General, he's like a Navy Admiral, uh, he's the U.S. Surgeon General right here, he's also part of the COVID-19 Task Force. So, a lot of good videos on my Instagram, so my Instagram is live and popping too. I also have to give a lot of statements on my Instagram too. Talk about the impact of the COVID vaccine. About this is one teacher said she would quit her job because she did not want to get impacted by the COVID the COVID virus. Some more statements are also make also all the time making public statements. Also making public statements. This is what the the MBTA rail line this this derailment um, that happened um, and um, that happened in Boston. A week ago so um, all these photos here are available on my um, on here we go, let's on my uh, social media feed too as well okay all of this is available on my social media feed Instagram what happened at the the, the train development okay the train development that happened um, in uh, in Boston when I left I always make a statement this is about my low social media followers too Kelly Price got impacted by COVID. She's recovering, but Dr. Casey Price in Los Angeles Cathedral did not. He passed away in, in February. So I don't know if these two people are related, but I also talked about that too. It's also available on my Instagram. So my Instagram is popping. Check me out on Instagram too. She, Kelly Price, this is how people know Kelly Price. She's part of the, um, she was born, actually, Kelly Price is actually from Memphis. Kelly Price is actually from Memphis, Tennessee. So she's also uh, got impacted by COVID. Her family's from Memphis, that's one of my pictures. Again, Jesse Jackson being impacted by COVID. Got really lost over the airport. So here's my reels. How to get the most views and most feed. Um, give a shout out to my dad and my uncle. Airport, first aid, back to school giveaway, 
okay, they were giving away free books, and they get a chance to attend that. Uh, how the impact of the American Red Cross. Uh, some more public statements that I always make. I'll talk, this one's talking about Sarah Jane Swaberts. I really don't have any kind of relationship with the Potter's House of Dallas, Texas anymore, but I do have family that live in Dallas, Texas, but I don't have any kind of social, financial, or personal relationship with, with anybody in the Potter's House of Dallas, Texas. I do not, and I declare it as so. That's why I wrote a personal statement about this. But the COVID pandemic is impacting the black church, especially in South Dallas. South Dallas is one of the biggest impactors of the black church. South Dallas, Atlanta, Georgia, as well as Los Angeles. Florida, Florida, Atlanta, Florida, Atlanta, South Dallas, and Los Angeles is one of the biggest, biggest, biggest major metropolitan areas for mega churches in the black community. Okay, so um, Potter's House, Bishop T.D. Jakes, um, his ministry has also been impacted by COVID pandemic, as well as everybody else that he's associated with. So I don't have any personal connections to them, but um, I may have seen a couple of their relatives in, in the city of Boston, but you see celebrities all the time because they're, they're celebrities. But still, at the same time, though, I don't have any kind of personal issue or, or connections to these individuals because they're celebrities. They live their own lives. Even though they're pastor's kids, they're still celebrities. They're celebrities like anybody else. Again, the Queen Battle does not have any kind of connection to the Potter's House, as well as its members, or T.D. Jakes and his family. But they are still celebrities, okay? They are still celebrities. They're millionaires, okay? But I don't have any connections to them. Okay, here's another statement of what uh, Governor Greg Ab Greg um, Abbott was making about COVID-19. He got he also got contacted with COVID-19 in Texas. Governor Greg Abbott, who was also against the mass mandates, okay, he was against the mass mandates. Um, but um, him him and his administration in Texas is also going through an abortion law, huge big Roe versus Wade. So Greg Abbott and his team is going through a nationwide. A lot of nationwide issues that are happening in the state of, state of Texas. State of Texas, big issues. Voters' rights, abortion abortion rights, as well as COVID-19. Big, huge in Texas right now. Abortion, voters' rights, and COVID-19. Big in Texas. And Haitian, how they treat Haitian immigrants. See, again, this is a picture of the Potter's House, Sarah Jakes. Like I said before, I, I used to know her when she was about maybe 19 years old when I was at, I was in a member back in the late 2001 to, to late 90s, but again, I don't have other other ministers in South Dallas. Here is Pastor um, um, some other pastors, um, Ibach, uh, Tony Evans, Ricky Rush, their families in South Dallas. South Dallas is a major big mega church central mega church South Dallas. But again, there's ministers all over South Dallas. But I don't personally know Sarah J. Roberts. She may talk about me. She may have insulted me. Insult whatever but I don't personally know Sarah James Roberts okay all right so here it is again like I said before I don't know her but I saw her when she was growing up okay but again South Dallas is big huge for mega churches so she's not the only one of influence in South Dallas there are other people other people in South Dallas other ministers in South Dallas and min other ministers daughters in South Dallas they also may have a bigger impact than Sarah Jakes Roberts okay she's not the only pastor's daughter in South Dallas that has made an impact in the black community she's not the only one but again there's Tony Evans Tony Evans daughter is actually a minister she's actually spoken at Lakewood Church in Houston Texas so Tony Evans daughter is a really good minister here's some other ministers too of Dr. Freddie Haynes. Dr. Freddie Haynes is also big in South Dallas. But again, I don't really visit South Dallas like that. I was born in I was born in Dallas, Texas. I was born in Fort Worth. I was born in Dallas. I'm not from Dallas. I'm from Fort Worth. There's a difference. Okay. Okay. All right. So again, that's how it. Also, my Instagram is popping and hopping. Okay. Some other issues. I talk about always making public statements. The weather. Check on the weather. Contact donations. Asking for donations. Okay, Sarah so Roberts had a girl in there. Last name was Battle. I didn't like that. Um, this is 9/11, the, the memorial service here. Um, I attended that, and I met, like I said, I met some fiery guys there. Had a great time, great time at the World Trade Center. That was me dressed up. <laughs> had a great time at the World Trade Center in in New York City for the 9/11 memorial service. Great time. All this is available. All of this is available on my. Um, can you see this? All this is available on my social media feed, on my Instagram. Okay, so let me take a picture of the guys. 
here's me with some of the guys okay here's me with some of the guys too the fire guys at the world trade center had a great time connecting with them so had a great time connecting with these individuals wonderful he was just came straight from afghanistan straight from afghanistan so a very nice guy straight from afghanistan about that team about 30 soldiers 40 about 30 40 40 soldiers that were straight from afghanistan that came to the world trade center so again um he wonderful opportunity to meet this captain right here great guy okay and that's me you know making some more personal statements too as well patriot day was world trade center so like i said my instagram feed is here's my donation lead to cash up on instagram my instagram feed is really hopping and popping so follow me on instagram follow me on instagram my instagram feed is hopping and popping okay follow me on instagram okay this is my books my books available you can find them on instagram and also before i before i leave today because i know this is about 15 minutes into this video you can also follow me on um amazon amazon.com Okay, you can also follow me on Amazon, just Google Look Queen Battle, and you'll find all my books right here. Being of Need, all these other issues, like I said before, Black Lives Matter, Hot Zone, First Aid and Posses, National Music City, all my books about color, modesty, a whole bunch of other books too. Okay, follow me, you go right here to the next tab right here. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, okay? So my Instagram is hopping and popping again. I can't do this without you guys. I really do. I really do need your um, encouragement and support. I really do need your encouragement and support. So this is a Queen Battle. I'm so thankful for you guys for everything that you have done for me over the past month. of September has been really successful. I deal with Reverend Jesse Jackson. That was a highlight of my month, as well as knowing that he was actually able to get out of the hospital, have the press conference recover fully from the COVID pandemic and do the very best thing that you can do. So I'm very happy. Shout out kudos to Jesse Jackson and his family too as well. Okay. And Ambassador Ross Wilson. Thank God that a lot of other troops from Afghanistan and Iraq are doing well with the withdrawal, the safe withdrawal of American troops from Afghanistan. Very safely. Okay. Thank goodness that there was no national security issues with the United States and Afghanistan, okay? So thank goodness that we didn't have any terrorist attacks. Okay, thank, thank you. But the Taliban did give America, America a deadline of August 31st. We did not meet that deadline, but still there was no attacks on American soil. So thank you so much to all the officials involved in the safe withdrawal of American troops from Kabul, Afghanistan, Iraq, and all around our American troops from the embassy in Kabul for the safe withdrawal, especially now that that embassy, that U.S. embassy, has been closed down. There is no more American support systems except U.S. contractors and necessary, aid, uh, necessary charities and humanitarian assistance in Afghanistan to help out Afgh Afghan citizens as well as Americans that are still there and needed most, okay? So right now there is no American assistance in Afghanistan except contractors and humanitarian charities. I would encourage you guys to pray for the country of Afghanistan as well as Israel. Israel is going through big, big, huge uh, issues right now with security, with a change in government, okay? As well as national security issues too. So thank goodness that America was actually able to go out there, like I said before, safely withdraw all of our troops, our American citizens, okay? For, there was over 70,000 to 100,000 American troops, American American citizens. I think it was like over 50 to 70,000 American citizens that were withdrawn from Afghanistan in two weeks time. So even though Biden was even though Biden was not, um, he was put down for that, okay? Um, he, and a lot of veterans do not support President Biden for, for withdrawing from Afghanistan. Um, still, though, he was able to get them out safely. 
okay, he was able to get them out safely. And for that, we are very happy. So, I mean, kudos to President Biden. It still has a lot to do. We still have a lot to function as a society and as a country. So, I want to give the very best shout out to President Joe Biden and his team, Kamala Harris, and uh, National Security Advisors, uh, General Greg Austin, General Greg Austin, Lloyd Austin, General Lloyd Austin, for doing an amazing job for withdrawing American citizens, American troops, as well as all military support services from the country of Afghanistan. It was a very mountainous, highly regionous country um, in the Middle East. Okay, it's not like oh, it's not it's not all dirt. It's not all dirt and sand. Afghanistan is a very wide region. Okay, in the Middle East. So thank you to General Lloyd Austin as well as all the ambassadors, all the international support services, the charities, the humanitarian agencies, all our allies, American allies, the UK, everybody that was involved in safely withdrawing our support services from the country, the invasion of the Taliban, okay, the invasion of the Taliban from Afghanistan, okay? So the Taliban is still there, but right now, the country of Afghanistan is going through huge, 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 huge government corruption. It's kind of right now. Government corruption. The Taliban cannot control the situation anymore. The government is corrupt as well as they are losing high, very high inflation. Okay. They cannot handle a organized, a just government as well as they do not know how to manage women rights versus controlling crime in a very highly populated Muslim country, okay? Controlling crime versus um, women's rights, women and children's rights, okay? So it's kind of, it's, it's, it's very hard for a terrorist organization, for the United States to give over control of a, gover of a government to a terrorist organization, okay? So thank goodness that our troops and all our authorities were able to go out there and do the very best thing that they could. So shout out to General Lloyd Austin, President Biden, Kamala Harris, everybody that was involved in the, in the safe withdrawal of American troops from Afghanistan. So this is a Queen Battle, former Army, former, um, former Army ROTC cadet, Army Reserve, Signal Texas. Shout out to you guys too as well. So shout out, thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, so again, I can't do this without you guys' support. Please donate to me if you can. Cash out Venmo, PayPal. LinkedIn, MNT Personal Bank, Laqueen Battle. I cannot do this without you guys' encouragement and support. I really do need it. Um, you can follow me ever on all my social media handles LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all that stuff. You can see me on the internet as well as I'm trying to get out some books in print. Okay? Because I know the internet is fine. People are like, oh, you should, she has ADHD. She should, should be reading books, writing books. Shit, I've been caught that every single day of my life for the past 30 days. I have ADHD and autism. It's really insulting, okay? Because <laughs> you're 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 giving a you're giving a diagnosis, but you're not providing a solution. So it is really insulting, <laughs> okay? It is really insulting, especially for your own peers to say that, okay? Some people that you don't even know, you're giving a diagnosis, but you're not providing a solution. It is very very insulting, okay? So anyway. Please encourage me if you can, okay? I can't do so. You guys encourage me and support. Please email me at battlefirstaid at icloud.com. That's B A T T L E, the number one, S T A I D at icloud.com. C O M. Okay, guys, I love you. Please continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers. Happy holidays. It is the holiday festival season. Guys, shout out to you and your families during COVID time. Again, a lot of families might be virtual. Or they might be in person. Whatever you guys can do. I would encourage you guys to still recommend for you guys to seek personal, professional medical advice above all. Talk to your doctor. Talk to your medical provider. Whoever is in care of your medical situation. A doctor, a nurse, a registered nurse, a doctor of, of uh, osteopathy, um, a DO, an OB, an MD, whoever is in charge of your health care. Please go out there and talk to them. Okay? It doesn't have to be an MD. It could just be anybody who's in charge of your health care and well-being. Please talk to them about the COVID pandemic, the booster shot, the vaccine, however it impacts you and your family. Okay, and your loved ones. Okay, so this is the Queen Battle. I love you guys. Happy holidays. Happy fall. Happy uh, happy festival season. 
Uh, please continue to keep you and family, friends, in prayer during this. Uh, during the, we're not at the end of the pandemic. We have, we almost have reached herd immunity, but we are still going through a lot of changes as a country. Okay, so this is Queen Battle, Battle First Aid Responder Services Incorporated. Please continue to keep me in your thoughts and prayers this holiday season. Happy holidays here from Syracuse, New York at the Starbucks. Thank you so much, guys. Please email me at battlefirstaid at icloud.com. Bye, guys. Take care.